President Biden and former President Trump easily won their respective primaries in Michigan. President Trump's main challenger, Nikki Haley, is vowing to stay in the race through next week. President Biden faced an effort by some Arab Americans and activists who voted for uncommitted in protest of the president's support for Israel. Fox's Connor Hansen has more. Former President Trump moved one step closer to clinching the Republican nomination, defeating rival Nikki Haley once again. We have to win on November 5th, and we're going to win big, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be like nothing uh, that anybody has ever seen. It's going to be fantastic. We win Michigan. We win the whole thing. And President Biden won Michigan easily, despite a group of voters choosing uncommitted. I want to say we are full of dreamers, believers, doers, and most definitely leaders. And today we also showed that we're full of pro-peace, anti-war, pro-Palestinian humans. The state has the largest Arab population in the country. Many unhappy with Biden's stance on the war in Gaza. First of all, you know that senior officials have gone to Michigan uh, as of late, uh, earlier this month, to meet with uh, Muslim and Arab Americans. Uh, and we understand, right, during a very deeply painful and personal moment, right? We understand what they're going through. Nikki Haley, who says she will stay in the race at least until Super Tuesday, has already moved on to Colorado. We can either go with more of the same or we can go with something new. Election officials said Michigan saw a strong turnout and said that could be a preview of the general election in the battleground state. The eyes of the nation are on our state today. We know that the eyes of the country will continue to be on Michigan throughout this presidential election cycle. In the 2020 general election, President Biden beat Trump by about 150,000 votes in Michigan. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox 4 News.